Mike Hubert says he was playing with his great granddaughter at City View Park when they saw a suspicious device. When one of my great granddaughters goes over there and says, Grandpa, what's this say? <laughs> it says it's a pipe bomb. Get over to the house. That's when he called police. Why can't people get their head out of their rear and start thinking of other people instead of just themselves? Police blocked off Jewel Place at Copper Avenue until the bomb squad gave the all clear. What's worse is that both police and residents here tell me that this isn't the first time police have been called out and found some sort of suspicious device in the area of this park. APD officer Simon Drobik says they believe someone fashioned together some high-end fireworks and left them in the park. Regardless if these devices could actually explode, Drobik says police are taking this matter very seriously. You're terrorizing this neighborhood. If we find you, you'll be facing district charges and uh, federal charges, and we'll bring you to full prosecution. Drobik believes someone is targeting this park. This is the third time they've been called here in the last six weeks. Hubert says he hopes police catch whoever is responsible. I hope they prosecute them. Because there's too many little kids around here that I don't want to see get hurt. Police say the last time they were called out, they found a makeshift pipe bomb. Another time, they found high-grade fireworks, like the ones found Saturday. Police say they used to have a camera at the park, but had to move it somewhere else. Now, they say they'll likely have to move it back. Reporting, Brandon Evans, KOAT Action 7 News.